A nature retreat near Alpine needs help to keep all of its animals fed. Heather Lake is live now with the details. Heather, good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, this is a place that I have visited before and they have more than 140 animals and now they need our help. So it's called the Children's Nature Retreat. If you haven't been there, well, when they reopen, you have to visit with the kids. Basically, they always have field trips, fundraisers, all sorts of different events, but obviously it's been closed because of social distancing. Now their main source of revenue has been stopped. I want to show you some videos so you can see the kind of animals that they have here. Basically, these are animals that have been rescued from all over the country. And this woman, Agnes, basically takes them in and her and a small team of people that are still on staff are taking care of these animals every day. They're caring for them, feeding for them, cleaning, making sure that everything's going. And this is 140 animals that have been going on there and the field trips obviously aren't going on. Uh, they need around $15,000 a month just to get by. This is for their normal operational costs. So now they're asking for their help. We were able to, for other people's help, we talked with the owner yesterday who gave us a little virtual tour. She got to show us some of the animals that she loves and cares for. And she also talked about their financial need. Take a listen. This is Trudy, this is the mama. Uh, we have Trudy and uh, Pearl. Pearl is her baby. Trudy was pregnant when we got her and we didn't know she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, because she was also a rescue and, uh, and her baby was half the size of a regular baby, but she made a beautiful, a beautiful girl. Our credit cards are maxed and, um, and I'm very worried for next month. Um, we, uh, we really have to, um, we really have to raise more money and um, we have two uh, online classes available for $5 um, each. And um, this uh, will teach uh, kids about uh, reptiles and birds. That's, a, that's the first one we did. The second one is um, about our barnyard animals. It's more like a fair trip uh, lesson. And they will learn about all the uh, animals we have in barnyard, the pig, the bunnies, the guinea pigs ducks and turkeys and um, chicken. So this place literally has everything from ostriches, zebras, they even have a bison, uh, all the way down to chickens and goats like you heard and horses. And so she can take people around, give virtual tours as well. She just wants to make sure that people know she is still there. They're still caring for the animals and that these are rescued animals that have been taken from homes that they can't be cared for anymore. And before the coronavirus pandemic even started, she had just gotten 12, I think a little more than 12 new animals that she had rescued. Um, from another group in San Diego. The woman was too old to take care of them. And so they were building a whole new barn before all of this started. They had to halt those operations and they just need people's help. So if you have kids at home and you need a little break, this is a great way to sit them down, let them get educated about some of the animals that are right here in our backyard and that are getting cared for by people right here in San Diego. We put more information about the brand new virtual class up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. All you need to do is click on the scene on tab. And Sholly, she's actually doing her first Zoom birthday party. And so I know a lot are missing big uh, milestones for our kiddos um, as all of this happens, but we're just shifting and figuring out how to do it to make it special. And she really wants to make it special. So she'll take you and several of your friends around and show you the zebras and the camels and oh, give you anywhere cool. from a 30 to 60 minute tour around the entire ground. That that sounds like fun, unique experience. All right, Heather, thank you.